Kumi ancient Greek, Kime translate, Kume or Kimai Kumai or Kaima Kuma, Italian, Kuma was the first ancient Greek colony on the mainland of Italy, founded by settlers from Euboea in the 8th century BC and soon becoming one of the strongest colonies. It later became a rich Roman city, the remains of which lie near the modern village of Kuma, a frazione of the commune Bicoli in the province of Naples, Campania, Italy. Early history The settlement is believed to have been founded in the 8th century BC by Greeks from the cities of Eritrea and Chalchi in Euboea and the oldest archaeological finds date to 725–720 BC. They were already established at nearby Pythicasae and were led to Cumae by the joint Oasists founders, Megasthenes of Chalchi and Hippocles of Simi. The Greeks occupied the site of earlier dwellings of indigenous, Iron Age peoples whose memory was preserved as cave dwellers named Cimmerians, among whom there was already an oracular tradition. The colony was located on particularly fertile ground on the edge of the Campanian plain. While continuing their maritime and commercial traditions, the settlers of Cumi strengthened their political and economic power by exploitation of the land and extended their territory at the expense of neighboring peoples. The colony thrived and in the 8th century it was strong enough to send Perriers to found Zankel in Sicily, and another group to found Tritea in Achaea, Pausanias was told. Kuma established its dominance over almost the entire Campanian coast up to Punta Campanella over the 7th and 6th centuries BC, gaining sway over Puteoli and Misenum and founding Neapolis in 470 BC. Cumi's first brief contemporary mention in written history is in Thucydides. The colony spread Greek culture in Italy and introduced the Euboean alphabet, a dialect of Greek and a variant of which was adapted and modified by the Etruscans and then by the Romans and became the Latin alphabet still used worldwide today. The growing power of the Cumian Greeks led many indigenous tribes of the region to organize against them, notably the Dani and Oruntsi with the leadership of the Capuan Etruscans. This coalition was defeated by the Cumians in 524 BC under the direction of Aristodemus, called Malichus, a successful man of the people who overthrew the aristocratic faction, became a tyrant himself and was then assassinated. The glorious victories of the colony had increased its prestige, so much so that according to Diodorus Siculus, it was usual to associate the whole region of the Phlegrian fields with Cumian territory. Contact between the Romans and the Cumians is recorded during the reign of Aristodemus. Livy states that immediately prior to the war between Rome and Clusium, the Roman Senate sent agents to Cumi to purchase grain in anticipation of a siege of Rome. Also Lucius Tarquinius Superbus, the last legendary king of Rome, lived his life in exile with Aristodemus at Cumi after the Battle of Lake Regulus and died there in 495 BC. Livy records that Aristodemus became the heir of Tarquinius, and in 492 when Roman envoys travelled to Cumi to purchase grain, Aristodemus seized the envoys' vessels on account of the property of Tarquinius which had been seized at the time of Tarquinius' exile. Also during the reign of Aristodemus, the Cumian army assisted the Latin city of Aresia to defeat the Etruscan forces of Clusium. The combined fleets of Cumi and Syracuse on Sicily defeated the Etruscans at the Battle of Cumi in 474 BC. The Temple of Apollo sent the revered Sibylline books to Rome in the 5th c. B.C. Also Rome obtained its priestesses who administered the important cult of Ceres from the Temple of Demeter in Cumae. Oscan and Roman Cumae The Greek period at Cumi came to an end in 421 B.C., when the Oscans broke down the walls and took the city, ravaging the countryside. Some survivors fled to Neapolis. Cumi came under Roman rule with Capua and in 338 BC was granted partial citizenship, a civitas sign suffragio. In the Second Punic War, in spite of temptations to revolt from Roman authority, Cumi withstood Hannibal's siege, under the leadership of Tib. Sempronius Gracchus. During the civil wars Cumi was one of the strongholds that Octavian used to defend against Sextus Pompey. The city prospered in the Roman period from the first c. BC along with all the cities of Campania and especially the Bay of Naples as it became a desirable area for wealthy Romans who built large villas along the coast. Under Augustus extensive public building works and roads were begun and in or near Cumi several road tunnels were dug, one through the Monte di Cumi linking the Forum with the port, the Grotta di Cocchio one kilometre long to Lake of Erno and a third, the Crypta Romana, 
180 meters long between Lake Lucrino and Lake Averno. The temples of Apollo and Demeter were restored. The proximity to Puteoli which was commercial port of Rome and to Misenum, the naval fleet base, also helped the region to prosper. Another very important innovation was the construction of the Great Sereno Aqueduct, the Aqua Augusta supplying many of the cities in the area from about 20 BC. Domitian's Via Domitiana provided an important highway to the Via Appia and thence to Rome from 95 AD. The early presence of Christianity in Cumae is shown by the 2nd century AD work The Shepherd of Hermas, in which the author tells of a vision of a woman, identified with the church, who entrusts him with a text to read to the presbyters of the community in Cuma. At the end of the 4th century, the Temple of Zeus at Cumae was transformed into a Christian basilica. The first historically documented bishop of Cumae was Adiodatus, a member of a synod convoked by Pope Hilarius in Rome in 465. Another was Missinus, who was one of the two legates that Pope Felix III sent to Constantinople and who were imprisoned and forced to receive communion with Patriarch Acacius of Constantinople in a celebration of the Divine Liturgy in which Peter Mongoose and other Myophysites were named in the diptychs, an event that led to the Acacian Schism. Missinus was excommunicated on his return but was later rehabilitated and took part as Bishop of Cumae in two synods of Pope Symmachus. Pope Gregory the Great entrusted the administration of the Diocese of Cumae to the Bishop of Misenum. Later, both Misenum and Cumae ceased to be residential sees and the territory of Cumae became part of the Diocese of Aversa after the destruction of Cumae in 1207. Accordingly, Cumae is today listed by the Catholic Church as a titular see, under Roman rule, so called, Quiet Cumae was peaceful until the disasters of the Gothic Wars 535 when it was repeatedly attacked, as the only fortified city in Campania aside from Neapolis, Belisarius took it in 536, Totila held it, and when Narses gained possession of Cumae, he found he had won the whole treasury of the Goths. In 1207, forces from Naples, acting for the boy king of Sicily, destroyed the city and its walls, as the stronghold of a nest of bandits. Topic. Monuments The visible monuments include Temple of Diana Capitoline Temple of Jupiter, Juno and Minerva or Zeus Temple of Isis Temple of Demeter Temple of Apollo The Acropolis Arco Feliz The Forum Grotta di Cocchio Crypta Romana painted tomb dating to the 2nd century BC and depicting a banquet scene was discovered in June 2018. Topic: Arco Feliz. The Arco Feliz lies in a cut through Monte Grillo which Domitian made in 95 AD to avoid the long detour imposed by the Via Appia and allow easier access to Cumae along what was later called the Via Domitiana while the bridge also carried a road along the ridge of the hill. It was built of brick and tiled in marble, and surmounted by two rows of arches of lighter concrete covered with brick. The piers had three niches on both sides where statues were placed. The Via Domitiana, whose paving is still perfectly preserved, connected to the Via Appia, the artery of communication with Rome, as well as with Pozzuoli and Naples. The arch probably replaced a smaller gate from Greek times and in a higher position. Topic. Crypta Romana The Crypta Romana is a tunnel dug into the tufa under the Kuma Hill. The gallery crosses the Acropolis of Kuma in an east-west direction, connecting the city with the sea. Its construction is part of the set of military enhancement works built by Agrippa for Augustus and designed by Lucius Cocius Octus in 37 BC, including the construction of the new Portus Iulius and its connection with the port of Cumae through the so-called Grotta di Cocchio and the Crypta Romana itself. With the displacement of the fleet from Portus Iulius to the port of Miseno in 12 BC and the end of the civil war between Octavia and Mark Antony in 31 BC the tunnel lost its strategic value. In the Christian age it was used as a cemetery area. In the 6th century the Byzantine general Narset tried to use it to reach the city during the siege of Cumae, but weakened the structure and a large section of the vault collapsed. It was brought to light between 1925 and 1931 by the archaeologist Amadeus Mayeri. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mythology. 
Cumi is perhaps most famous as the seat of the Cumian Sibyl. Her sanctuary is now open to the public. In Roman mythology, there is an entrance to the underworld located at Avernus, a crater lake near Cumi, and was the route Aeneas used to descend to the underworld. Topic: <laughs> Diocese of Cuma E. Not to be confused with the namesake Cuma Aeolus in Asia Minor, a bishopric was established around 450 AD. In 700, it gained territory from the suppressed diocese of Miseno. In 1207 it was suppressed itself, its territory being divided and merged into the Roman Catholic Diocese of Aversa and Roman Catholic Diocese of Pozzuoli. <inaudible> Resident bishops Saint Mesenzio – Reynaldo – Giovanni – 1141 – Gregorio 1187 Leone 1207 topic titular C In 1970 the diocese was nominally restored as a Latin titular C So far it has had the following incumbent of the lowest episcopal class with a single archiepiscopal exception Titular Bishop Louis Marie Joseph de Corriges Dusto the 2nd of September 1970 the 10th of December 1970 Titular Archbishop Eduardo Pecoreo, the 28th of December 1971, the 9th of August 1986. Titular Bishop Julio Maria Elias Montoya, Friars Minor, OFM, Apostolic Vicar of Apostolic Vicariate of El Beni, Bolivia, the 17th of November 1986. Topic Gallery. Topic See also. Grata di Cocchio Fusaro Lake Topic Notes and References Topic External Links Official Website in Italian Gigacatholic with Residential Titular Incumbenti Biography Links <laughs>